For seniors on high school football teams, this is a great time. Everyone's undefeated, everyone's talking about a league championship, and it's your last go around in high school football. The Westboro football team has a very deep and good senior class, which they believe is going to translate into wins and success for the Rangers. Yeah, definitely a lot of intensity and energy in practice. Uh, we're returning a lot of skill positions, so we know what we're going to do this year with that. And uh, should have a pretty exciting offense. Uh, trying to fill some holes in the line and defense, but uh, should have a good offense and should be an exciting year. Practice is doing great. You know, we're, we're really hyped and like, the new fields and stuff, we're like, we're super hyped, you know. We're working hard, you know, everyone's pouring blood, sweat, and tears, you know. Everybody's in the same mindset, that's all we need. It's really important, you know, to run a good program and to have a great senior group. It really sets the tone for everybody, our team culture, everything that we're trying to do day to day as coaches and as a team helps out more and better with our large senior group. Westboro opens up their season taking on Shepherd Hill. And speaking of the Hill, the Shepherd Hill football team and program has an incredible record of sending players on to big-time Division I colleges and even the NFL. This year's Rams knows all about the expectations, and they take pride in carrying on that tradition. So it's definitely smash-mouth football, really lining up, beating the will out of the other people in front of you because they, everyone knows what we run, but we're still going to shove it down your throat and run and get three yards every time and drag it down the field and run you out. It uh, just means working hard, being better people off the field and on the field than you were when you got here, and being good for your coaches. You know, yeah, it'd be great to uh, continue the Shepherd Hill legacy. It's our last season together, all of us, so it's really important to make it a good one for all of us. It's great because, um, you know, with 20 seniors, we've got people at each position group that know our expectations, know what we expect from our players, um, know what it takes to win at this level, know what it takes to have a good practice, to work hard and to really lead the younger guys by examples. And the Hill begins their 2019 campaign looking for revenge as they take on Westboro. The Holy Cross football team had a three and a half week preseason camp. So everyone, the coaches and players were psyched this week to turn the page and begin a true game week preparation as the Crusaders get ready for Navy. Just so, I mean, extremely excited. August 1st is when we got here. So to be here a month later and know that we're in game week is something I think our guys are excited about. The, the reason you work so hard in the off season, in the spring, in the winter, whatever it might be, is for this, for game week. You only get 12 of them. Guaranteed this year, 12 of them. We got to make the most of them. And I think our guys are doing a good job so far this week. And Holy Cross opens up their season this Saturday at Navy. And that'll do it for sports. And Kevin, I have to say, I was at Anne Maria College today getting the new student center opening, and I saw the football team practicing in the pouring rain. So just had to give them a little shout out for that. Uh, yeah, that's toughness. That's grit. That They're toughness. hardcore. They're hardcore. They're going to follow the lead of their coach, Dan Mulrooney. He's doing a great job over there. He's got them pumped. He's got a great enthusiasm there. Passion, family is what they all talk about. And uh, I think football coaches and players love going in the rain. Absolutely. That's going to do it for us here on Worcester News tonight. For Kevin Shea, I'm Anna Botari. I'll see you back here tomorrow.